Hey everyone so today we are going to talk about hypergeometric distribution in earlier lecture we talked about bernoulli's distribution now in real world many times binomial distribution will not help you why so let's have a look at it now when you do you do binomial distribution when you have something nice things nice things as in those four nice assumptions which we call as a bernoulli's process what are those four assumptions you can look my earlier lecture if you wish but yeah it says uh, your uh, experiment consists of repeated trials each trial has two outcomes success or a failure the probability of success remains the same in each trial and the trials are independent under this four nice conditions you have a nice formula for binomial distribution but now in general such thing may not happen why so let's try to understand it by by an example okay so now suppose you have a total population let me call capital n of 100 students okay so this is my classroom in my classroom there are 110 students but for simplicity let's stick to 100 okay now there are 70 boys in that and there are 30 girls in my classroom so i'm calling k as 70 and n minus k which is 30 number of boys number of girls now suppose i want to take a sample of 10 students i'm taking a sample so my sam sampling consists of 10 students so question is what is the probability that exactly three boys are selected so this is a question now see what i will do i have to select 10 students so i will take the attendance sheet i will just call out the mis number or the roll number roll number 13 17 29 36 39 49 69 69 69 whatever now when i say 13 the person will go stand up and he will stand out okay now suppose that is a boy then he will stand up and he will stand here now what is the probability of choosing a boy right now it is a 70 by 100 70 boys 100 population 70 by 100 but as soon as i say rule number 13 that person will student will stand up and he will stand here now when i say 29 if that is also a boy then what is the probability of that boy of choosing a boy from the population now the population doesn't con contain 100 students it contains 99 so what is the probability of selecting a boy it will become 69 upon 99 so you see the now probability is changing now before that i should also say what is my x my x is a discrete random variable so this is for discrete random variable this distribution and in this case i want to look the probability that three children are selected so what is my x it is a random variable and uh, which counts the number of boys so if a boy is chosen i will call it as a success if a girl is chosen then i will call it as a failure okay other way also like if i if i want to choose three girls then if i choose a girl in that case what will be my x choosing a girl will be a success and choosing a boy will be a failure so this is the scenario we are having so where was i yeah so i was saying like once i say roll number 13 the boy will come here and you have a probability now of choosing a second boy is 69 by 99 so you see the probability got change the probability of success that is choosing a boy is not same in the second trial as soon as i say the second roll number for the first trial when i was saying the first roll number probability was 70 by 100 in the second trial the probability of choosing a boy reduces to 69 by 100 so i cannot use binomial distribution okay but like suppose if i call rule number 13 he will stand in come outside i will take a student boy from another class and i will make him sit here in that case in the next trial probability of selecting a boy still remains the same then it's a good thing binomial conditions are satisfied but here i am not doing that why i will call a student from another class okay so so i hope you are getting what i'm trying to say when you are doing the things without replacement then hypergeometric distribution comes into picture if you are doing the replacement well and good binomial is there to help you if you are not doing it then you need hypergeometric okay like for another example if there is an urn which contains seven okay i think i will come to this example later on but let's try to finish this problem okay now see we cannot use bernoulli that's what we saw now question is how do we solve this problem now and this problem such kind of problems do arises in real world okay like suppose if there if i am a quality inspector in some of a uh, say manufacturing company 
okay so there is a manufacturing company that produces chips for computer so there is a box containing 100 chips okay just i have to take three chips and i have to check whether they are defective or not once i take out one chip oh it's a defective i just keep it aside because i won't put again in the box because why i will put defective chip right and the manufacturer is going on to that side so i will not go that side i will pick up a good chip and i will put it here no so i'm inspector i will pick it up it's, oh, it's a defective i will keep it aside now suppose initially there are 100 chips now only 99 chips are remaining so in the second trial probability is getting changed so such things do occur okay so that's why we need hypergeometric distribution binomial will not help us now these are the notation i have written because we are going to use this when we are going to write down the formula what is my n total population k k stands for the successes so here also we need two outcomes okay success or failure so we label the things like here we labeled boys and girls if you are having a population you may label it as covid positive or covid negative okay so there can be any kind of labeling there should be two kind of labeling so for success i am calling the notation k and this is my failure n minus k small n is the sampling that i am doing so sampling here is 10 students okay and my small x is what 3 so i want to find the probability now how many ways are there to choose 10 students out of 100 i will choose 100 choose 10 so these are these are the number of ways you can choose 10 students from 100 students what is the probability of selecting three boys now there are three boys out of 70 right so 70 choose three from girls that means out of 10 students if three are boys how many will be girls seven so 30 choose seven you solve this you get an answer okay so either you can use online calculator or you can solve this as you wish but try to post the answer what you are getting for this so this is the first problem tell me what is the answer by hyper geometric distribution you also try to find this by binomial distribution okay that's the homework what is the notation b x n p right so what is this it was n choose x so n choose 3 what is the probability of success 70 by 100 so 7 by 10 probability of failure 1 minus 7 by 10 which is 3 by 10 this raised to x how many 3 and 7 p raised to x q raised to n minus x okay so you do this by binomial as well in last lecture i told you how one can use online calculator to calculate this value as well So there is a calculator for this as well. Simply Google hypergeometric distribution. Put the values of n, k, this, you get the answer. Okay. But yeah, nowadays exams are offline, so my suggestion is try to do it by hand. Okay. Once you go in a company where you are run playing with ML algorithm or data science algorithms, in that case, yeah, there are packages where you simply call the package and you are done. But for exam sake purpose, make sure you do calculations. Okay. So yeah, so this is what we are having. now what is the formula so the formula that you see in a book is something like this now what is this this is 100 choose 10 100 is the sample population so capital n small n is my sampling that i'm doing now here there are k successes and n minus k failure 70 successes 30 failure out of k how many i want to choose this x 3 So here, how many it will be? Small n minus x, 10 minus 3, which is 7. So this is the formula that you usually see in your book. Okay. So it's easy to remember. N is the total population. Once you have a population, you label success and failure, success and failure. Now, once you choose a sample n, question is from this n, how many are from success and how many are from failure? So quite easy to remember, right? Now, what is the value your x will take? It will always be greater or equal maximum of zero comma n minus of n minus k. This is what you will see. Okay. Now, obviously, x is always greater or equal zero. If this is negative, then you take zero over here maximum. If this is positive, then you take this. What is this? See, n minus k is the failure. so and this is a sampling i am doing so from the sampling you remove the failure whatever is left that is your success so therefore x is greater or equal to this and x is always less equal the minimum of something 
what it will be minimum of it will be n comma k because x can be more than n because that's what the sampling and doing doing and it is represent the successes and so and there are k number of success so i can't go beyond k okay so therefore it is minimum of n comma k so x always lies in this interval okay so we took an example we derived the formula i mean we saw the formula and then the range for x okay now at the start i told you that i think i told you but yeah okay your binomial is a good approximation for the hypergeometric distribution see assumptions are almost the same except the one assumption which is nothing but your uh, replacement and without replacement that's the only thing so can you say they are almost same you can say okay so when the population is very large and the sampling is very less in that case they will approximately give you the same answer it will never be equal but it will always be very close okay so let's try to see that with the help of an example now instead of sticking to a class let's go to a whole college so you know college there are 22000 students among them 800 are boys 1200 are girls now k the number of successes okay so what is my x x is the random variable discrete random variable and it says the number of boys selected so my k will be successes because it's the number of boys n minus k is the failure sampling is 10 i want to find the probability that exactly three boys are selected what will i do i will do first since it's without replacement so 2000 choose 10 because that's the total sampling i'm doing now how many success in 800 out of 800 i have to choose three boys and out of failures i have to choose seven girls you find this answer and now you use binomial distribution b x n p what is the probability of success it is 800 by 2000 which is nothing but 8 by 20 which is nothing but 2 by 5 so what do you get you get 10 choose 3 probability of success 2 by 5 raised to 3 probability of failure 3 by 5 raised to 7 and you tell me what is the answer for this so this is the second homework for you in earlier case you will see there will be a difference here you will see that at least for two or three decimal places you will get the same answer okay so whenever whenever your sampling is less than five percent of the total population you will always get all approximately the same answer when your sampling is less than five percent of the total population okay so here you can see five percent is how much uh, 100 and this is less than five percent so that's why you will get the almost the same answer okay so that's why it says that uh, binomial distribution is a good approximation for hypergeometric distribution now what is mean and variation in this case so for binomial we know the mean is n into p where n is the number of trials and p is the probability of a success now here n is the number of trials what is the probability of success now there are k successes out of the total population so what is the probability of success it is k by n so therefore this is the formula that you will always see what is the a formula for uh, variance in binomial it is npq so n p q so if you keep in this way in mind it's easy to remember so this is the formula for mean and variance for hypergeometric distribution now let's take a couple of examples for better understanding so here is a problem so in a company manufacturing company each hour 10,000 cans of soda are filled by a machine among which 300 unfilled cans are produced okay so little bit less is produced not completely filled each hour a sample of 30 cans is randomly selected okay and what is my x it is the number of unfilled cans selected so what is the success if i am selecting an unfilled can then that will iterate that as a success because that's what the job of a quality engineer is and what is the probability of x greater or equal 1 that is what is the probability that at least one unfilled can is selected but now we know by the properties that this is 1 minus probability of x strictly less than 1 now we are in discrete so this is x strictly less equal 0 now what is this 1 minus but we know that x is always 0 1 2 3 4 it cannot be negative so x less equal 0 is same as to say x is equal to 0 now by hypergeometric distribution 
टोटल पॉपुलेशन इज टेन थाउजेंड सो टेन थाउजेंड चोज हाउ मेनी कैन सैम्पल ऑफ थर्टी सो टेन थाउजेंड चूज थर्टी हाउ मेनी आर अनफिल्ड सो दिस इज माई सक्सेस थ्री हंड्रेड हाउ मेनी विल बी अनफिल्ड सो इट विल बी नाइन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो दैट मीन्स जीरो अनफिल्ड इज सिलेक्टेड दैट इज माई एक्स सो जीरो अनफिल्ड इज सिलेक्टेड एंड ऑल द थर्टी दैट मीन्स दे आर फिल्ड सो यू सॉल्व दिस डू वन माइनस यू गेट द आंसर If you get time, then do not forget to post this as an answer. This will be treated as a third question. Let's go to next example. Now here is a question. So a home owner plants six bulbs selected at random from a box containing five tulip and four daffodil bulbs. Okay, so you have a collection of bulbs, out of which five are tulips and four are daffodils. So what is the total population? N is capital nine. What is the probability? That he planted two daffodil and four tulips. So you have to call k and n minus k. Suppose k is for you, then n minus k will be four. That means we are saying choosing a tulip is a success and choosing a daffodil is a failure. Okay, one can play other way also, not a problem. Okay, once we have this, what is our small n? The sampling we are doing. Six bulbs are selected, so six is selected. What I want to find. So k success is what this uh, tulip. So I want four tulip, right? So tulip is the success. So what is the probability that x equal to four? That means four tulip are selected. Divide by okay. Total are nine. So you have nine choose sample. So nine choose six. How many tulip? So five are success. Four are failures. From success, how many I want? I want four tulip. How many are left? Six minus four, two. Which means there are two daffodils. Okay, because their addition is six. Yeah, that's all. You are done. Okay, so whenever you have such kind of thing, always define a random variable. What will be your x? In this case, I am saying that selecting a tulip is a success. So my k is five, n minus k is four. Tada! You get the answer. So I hope this concept is clear. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. And if everything is clear, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.